I made it to Iowa. Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy. So, this is a crazy story, guys. I'll explain it through all this and how this is. Those of you who want farming, this is crazy. Um, I, I just, I don't know. There's so much going on. I got to explain it. But as we get going with this, the whole story behind this is I'm from New York. Lifelong dream is to start a farm in Iowa, the middle of Iowa, central Iowa. And so that's what we're doing. I sold the pizza shop in downtown New York, New York, New York, and it sold good. And I'm going to start a farm in Iowa. Farmland prices are high right now, but it's, I don't care if I'm making money. I just want to farm, man. I just want to farm. And so that's what we're doing. Now, I have a buddy in Iowa that I, he was like, hey, dude, you need anything? I got you. And so I was like, okay, we're going to be moving some stuff. Can I use your big text trailer? He was like, yes. So the house I bought, I'll show you guys the house. I'm headed to the house now. And then we're going to go to the John Deere dealer. And I'm going to take a look at equipment. Uh, here, I'll show you guys their site too. I'll, oh man, their site is crazy. Here, after I hook up to this, or actually, once we get to the house, I'll show you guys the website. It is crazy. But I got to hook up, hook up to this. Now, everybody's going to be, there's going to be so many questions on this video because it's, oh, I, you know, just just watch the video. Watch the video, guys. So so I'm still getting used to some of this, what what is called IC. And this was in FS17, but... To put my tailgate down, I think it's this button. There we go. Tailgate went down. And so now it's really cool. A lot of the controls are like that. So we're going to use this big text trailer. I'm going to take it to my new house I bought. Haven't even seen my house yet. It was just built. It's a brand new house. It was built in 2019. It's built on the country. I'm going to build my farm on it. So I'm going to connect to the big text trailer. Let's fold up that tailgate. There we go. Nice. Okay. Toe mirrors. Toe mirrors are going out, dude. Yeah, <laughs> so sweet. Okay, those toe mirrors went out. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Man, that is cool. I'm still, oh shoot, we're in reverse. There's a couple things to this. Long story behind this, why I can barely drive this truck to save my life. Oh my gosh. So, we're doing farming. This is the whole, like, I, I mentioned this in other videos. It's kind of a surprise, but we're doing farming. So with that being said, I like I want this to be really good and I wanna like I wanna do really good for you guys with farming because farming just content doesn't do it good as other content. So I wanna I wanna make sure it's good. So so we got about uh five miles until we get to our house. And for for the first time ever, I'm gonna be there. Seeing it online, did a little virtual tour, but virtual is nothing like the real thing. Okay, what road are we on? What road is that? A bail road? A bale and Barley Road. My house is on Barley Road. I looked it up. I think we should be able to see in the distance. Now, there was that farm over there. I was really wanting to buy that farm. I was wanting, I, I contacted the seller because I knew I was moving to Iowa. I wouldn't pick up that farm. They wouldn't do it, but they're like, hey, we'll sell you, we'll sell you 58, we'll sell you 50 acres uh, that we own just because we, you know, we want to be nice. And so I paid probably over, I paid a premium for the land. But we got we got some nice land up here and then i had a builder build a home for me and so the home's built and it's nothing special it's nice but it's the first time i'm seeing it he just sent me pictures online Whoa. there she is and he knew i was a hawkeye fan he even put oh nice 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 he's got the flags up for me okay this is neat so i gotta oh nice okay First time pulling in the driveway. We got my house here, but okay. So I called up the John Deere dealer and I, I want to visit them right away. And so that's what we're going to go to. I'm going to park the truck right here. Probably should have backed it in for now. Home sweet home all the way from New York. Oh, this is sweet. Okay. we got the Hawkeye flag up there. ANF American needs farmers flag. Now, dude, everybody's going to be like squad. You go to Iowa state. Why do you have a Hawkeye fan or a Hawkeye flag? I've been a Hawkeye fan for like a lot of my life. It's pretty much split ISU and Iowa right now, but I've been a huge Hawkeye fan. So that's why I went with Hawkeye, uh, Hawkeye flags. Okay. First time going in the home. He left the door open for me too. This is nice in here, man. Okay. So I walk in, this is how the layout was. It looks different from the internet, dude. I'm telling you, this house looks different. Uh, I do have a wood stove there. Should have the kitchen somewhere garage in here. Nice. He even got the lawnmower for me and stuff. Is that like a doggy training pad? He knew I was going to get a dog. Is that what that is like for dogs to, I don't know. Uh, let's head upstairs. I want to head upstairs because I told him to get an Apex Game PC set up for me too, which he does have. He used a 10% off discount code, code squad to get his Apex, get the Apex Game PC. The view up here. Okay. 
I want to pull up the deer dealership for you guys because we're going to buy some equipment today. I just want to get to it. Big equipment guy. And I just want to start buying equipment already, even though we're literally been in Iowa for two hours now. And that two hours is mainly driving. But here, let me pull it up for you. Honestly, this Apex Game PC they had for me is nice. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, this is... Okay, so I'm on Platte Valley Equipment. Now, they... I got to check this out. This is the first time I've been to the site. Um, okay, we got to figure out what we're going to get. Now, I don't plan on buying all the equipment. I just want to get a couple tractors because we still have to build the farm, which I'm probably going to build the farm next episode or so. But as far as equipment, I don't know if I... See, I don't think it's a smart thing to just basically buy brand new, especially since I'm pretty darn inexperienced farming, first generation farmer. I feel like I shouldn't be buying brand new, you know? Well, what do they have for new equipment? 2019 John Deere 8345R, 349,000, not bad. 2019 John Deere 6145M, 124,000, nice, nice. Uh, new equipment, new equipment. Um, okay, I'm gonna need a combine. Oh, they only, oh, so they only have the S670 in stock. Okay, 281,000, I'm, I gotta go use. There's no way I'm going new. I gotta go use. Oh, they have rentals too. Skid steer rentals. Okay, so if we need a skid loader, they have the 2017 JCB, $378. That's expensive, dude. $378 per day. I was using a Bobcat the other day that was uh, like 175 bucks per day. That's it's it's fine though. Maybe I guess the JCB is an expensive skid loader. Okay, uh, use equipment. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so use deer. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? 1989, 8970 for 128. Holy crap, dude! That is expensive. Okay, uh, 4640 is pretty darn cheap. Um. 2007 STS 9560. I want to pick up this 8970, but the thing is, is I really don't think $128,000 is a good price. I'm going to see if I can't see what the, see if the dealer has room because $128,000 is just ridiculous for that. Um, to be honest, uh, 1968, 40, 20, 32 grand, but that is a classic tractor. I wouldn't mind going with that. 9560 combine. So, like, I'm pretty much only gonna be buying used equipment until we really get stuff down. Then I'll start buying new equipment. Uh, 2020, 9670. That wouldn't be a bad combine to pick up. I don't think I'm gonna buy a combine today. I think I'm just gonna probably pick up three tractors. Okay, so some things I have my eye on. 4020. I want this tractor. If the dealer still has it in stock, I gotta call in to make sure they have it in stock. 8130. This would be a solid tractor. You can do a lot of different stuff with this. It, I think it's either 240 or 180 horse. It wouldn't be bad to pick up. Um, they don't have much used equipment. Maybe 4640. I'm not sure. Wouldn't be a bad tractor to have. Okay, we gotta head into town. I gotta, I gotta see this with my own eyes. We gotta see what they all got here. Okay, so if you guys see, like, see those. Okay, see my speedometer, bottom right hand corner of your guys' screen. You can either go forward or reverse. Now, I got to figure this out. It's space bar. It's, it's a little different. I got to get used to this. It's interesting. And I'll kind of explain how we're all doing this. And I say we, you'll see towards the end of the video what I mean by we. Okay. So, like, this is going to be developed. I want to put sheds. I want to make a whole farm out of this, which is probably going to be next episode. So, just so you guys know why this isn't developed yet and why this isn't a farm. It's going to happen. It's just all part of the fun. Customizing the own farm. It's nice having these tow mirrors though on the Kelmans. This is gonna be a solid truck for us, I feel like. Okay, we'll take a left hand turn. And then I'm gonna stop by Casey's, run inside and get some Casey's pizza. Cause I hear if you're from Iowa, dude, you gotta have the Casey's pizza. So uh, some dude was like almost holding the gun up to my head. He was like, dude, you need to get the Casey's pizza. And I was like, okay, calm down, brother. I'll get the Casey's pizza. So uh, we gotta stop by Casey's. Dude, it is busy in Iowa. Everybody, like, everybody's like, oh, you're going to Iowa? Are you, uh, what's the population? Like 10 there? But man, I've counted more than 10 cars here so far. We're in the town of Moore, Iowa. I'm gonna take a left hand turn because that's a Casey's there. Then we're gonna pull in, I'm gonna grab some pizza and then we're on the way to the dealership. There we go. Take a right hand turn. Okay, I gotta figure out where to park the trailer because it is, uh, there's a lot of people at this Casey's dealership. I'm just gonna park over here for now. Here we go. I'll run and grab some pizza. Oh, we got more. Hey, what's up, man? 
Oh, hey, how's it going? Good, 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 good. I see your fellow, are you a little farming? Oh yeah, I've been in this area for 150 years now, I think, roughly, but not me, but my family. Holy crap, <laughs> are you fourth or fifth generation? Oh boy, fifth or so, fifth, sixth maybe? I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Grant, by the way. I literally, dude, I literally just uh, moved from New York. So like, I've been in Iowa for two hours and I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to farm kind of like you, I guess. It's like, it's lifelong dream, dude. Oh yeah. Well, that's, that's awesome, man. You like it so far? The, the, yeah. The people seem nice and stuff, but the thing is I got to try some uh, breakfast or breakfast pizza from Casey's. Yeah, you do. Casey's pizza is the best thing in the world, man. Yeah. Get yeah. Try some, so, sure. so, okay. Okay. So you, you got the insides. I'm going to the John Deere dealership local in the town over mm -hmm. um, Platteville. Do you know anything about them though? Cause I'm, yeah. I want somebody no, that's trusted and like I'm not going to get screwed and ripped off on equipment. Do, oh, they're they're the best ones you can get around this area. I uh, I actually just bought some stuff from them, and that tractor right over there is a rental because mine broke down. So like they'll they'll help you out as best they can. Okay. Good. People. Okay. Good oh, dude, there. I saw. The, oh, I can we take a look at that? You can, you mind? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Dude, I saw that on uh, I saw that on the site. They had it at, on their used. Oh, okay. It, she's got some use behind her. How's she run? <laughs> Uh, it runs pretty good. Uh, it, it, it doesn't handle turns the best or anything, but not too bad. Dang, dang. I got gotcha. you. You care if I take a look inside? No, oh, go for it. Okay. Door's open. Dang, this is pretty clean. He's got a clean interior in, in here, it looks like. Nice. Yeah, man, if I ever have to get a used loader tractor or something, I'll, I'll probably go there. In the uh, the co-op over in uh, Burtsville over there. Just, just across the county. Oh, so. you do? Okay, okay. So, yep. are you the only local co-op in town then? Oh no, there's there's a few, but we offer. Uh, I mean, not to brag, but we offer some of the the best services. You know, a lot of the other co-ops don't focus on helping you grow your business, and that's mm -hmm. our main focus. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, here's my card. You can give me a ring whenever you want, and just let yeah. me know. Okay. Sounds good then. Right. I'll Have see you later, one. Jake. Have a good one, man. See ya. Okay, boys. Man, people of Iowa, they are nice. He's got it. I, that's, a, that's, a, that's a neat tractor. I like that. And okay, we're, it's, it's good to talk to a farmer before you go to a John Deere dealership and literally buy like $300,000 worth of equipment. I mean, that pizza, okay, that pizza was good. I feel like it wasn't hold a gun up to a guy's head, good, worthy pizza, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Okay, we're on our way. Okay, so I met my first friend, I guess, friend or fellow farmer. Which is kind of neat, so uh, I might have to call him up if I need any advice, especially if co-op advice, anything I'm buying from there. Uh, okay, we are going to head to the dealership. Let's see what they got for us. Oh, are we going to make this turn? So I saw a sign and it said it was down this way. Man, this Iowa countryside is just beautiful through here. There she is. The dealership. Okay, so there's that 8130 back there. I saw that 8130. That's why I'm really have my eyes on through here. Okay, so they got Vermeer, Kubota, and of course, John Deere. Okay, I gotta figure out where to park. I don't wanna be that guy that just takes up four parking spots like that. I think we'll just park back here. Oh, dude, another dude has a Cummins too. He's got two-tone. I, For some reason, I love this two-tone look of these Cummins. It, right when I saw it, I was sold by the two-tone look of this back in New York. He's got a silver and black. I'm not really a big fan of the silver and black. I like this black and, I mean, I. It's, it's a neat truck still. It's a neat truck. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so here's a 6135M I saw on that website. I forgot the pricing on that. This wouldn't be a bad chore tractor, but mainly I'm focused on... I, I want to get into livestock. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I got to figure it out. I, for sure, hey. row crop, but... Oh. Hey, sir. How you, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Platte Valley Equipment. Uh, you're up in Moore, Iowa. Uh, how may we help you today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... Uh, well... I'll just give it to you, man. I'm I've been in Iowa for two for two hours, and I just moved from New York. And I'm starting a farm here, so like it's you don't hear of that. I'm gonna be a first gen farmer. Okay. And uh, well, dude, do you get commission? By the way, um, <laughs> I don't even really know. Um, but definitely we can uh, get you saddled up with some stuff. Uh, we can I got my stuff here in the office. We can get you typed up. Uh, get find out what you want. Kind of get you see what you're interested in. Uh, 
from the way it sounds like you sound exactly like you know what you know what you want. Okay, you I, want I, I, yeah, I take it you do get commission because it is gonna be your lucky day today. Because I, I, oh, I got some money to spend, boy. I got some money to spend. We come from All right. New, yeah, yeah. So deep uh, dish country. Yeah. Okay, this eighty-one thirty. How many hours is on it? What year is this eighty-one thirty? I know that. What, what were they from? Oh five to. Oh, ten, or from 2010? 2010 this, is a, this is our 2009 model. Um, it is. This is rated at 240 horsepower. Um, I don't know the drag when it comes to the actual PTO. Okay. Uh, when you get the power takeoff. But uh, this does not have very many hours on it. I'd have to go check in the books. Uh, right now, I think our hour counter on this thing is broken. It reads at zero. We got We might take it in. Whatever yeah. It is. But I believe I'd have to look. Does not it's very it's fairly low hours. Okay, I would say under. You run a so like say I ran DB sixty on it, it would run it fine. Oh yes, this would this would this would be able to pull it as long as you don't have all the extra equipment on it right now. You'd have to have a little bit of a yeah yeah, yeah. more of a bump in the power. To does be able it to do uh, that. does it come with uh, does it come with duels? Do you guys have duels in the back that I could you guys would toss yes, on? Yes, we could throw on there. We can get you some rear duels or front duels uh, as well. Uh, I personally prefer it, and we can also invert these front tires so they can be flipped out. Okay. So you'd be seeing the outside of the room. I personally run a 8430 at my own home. Uh, I do run the rear duels, but I also run the inverted front tires. Mm. And it gets really good traction in the field. Okay, okay. Uh, this does have our power shift transmission. Yeah. And it does come with the Green Star 3000 Ooh. with the GPS. Okay, so okay. This is a nice. fairly this is a fairly luxury model. If you'd like to go look around the lot more, we can. Or if you would like to, you can hop in, take a look at the inside, and see if you like it. I yeah, do yeah. Let's keep looking. Uh, okay, let's keep looking yeah. around. I want to. Uh, okay, yep. you care if I fire it up quick? You guys got the key in oh, there? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Keys okay. in there. Man, okay. This is pretty cool. So it has a power shift transmission there, I see. This is nice through here. I'm going to fire her up. Purrs like a kitten, doesn't she? Sorry, what's that? Purrs like a kitten, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, dude. She, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, a lot of people have been kind of looking at this one. A uh, couple guys down south, they were kind of really down south of town. They were really looking into this. So you want to yeah. get this sucker? Who, you better get well, who? So it's a one owner. Who owned it before? Um, Just local this farmer. This was actually a this was actually a transfer in from over in Missouri. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, that was one I had my eyes on. Forty twenty, oh, and yes. then I also want to fire up the eighty nine seventy back there. Oh, big Bertha. Yep. yep. I'll yep. be over there. Okay. All right. So Sounds good. Take the sucker for a round. Uh, just meet me over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got to figure out how to put this thing in gear. Eighty one thirty. It has been. There we go. Okay, I got it. Nice. Lights. Uh, beacons. There we go. 32 mile an hour max. It said on there. Do you, yeah. Do you care if I take it down the road? Oh, uh, yeah. My, okay. Be, be my guest. Okay. So I'm really curious to see what road gear is like. I've never, I've, I haven't driven these new tractors at all. And this isn't, for some people, this isn't even new, but I, I really want to see how, what 32 mile feels like, you know, in a 240 horsepower tractor. Because if we're running like gravity wagons on this, I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. But if I'm running gravity wagons, this is probably going to be my go-to tractor heading down the roadway. Oh, there she goes. Holy crap. So that's 32 mile an hour. We're doing 32 mile an hour right now. And this seems good. It does seem like it's a little bit over the road, but you can expect that. We're doing 32 mile an hour. All right. So uh, how was the how was the old test drive? It looks like you were having fun going fast down the uh, good old I good think old I'm highway down I, there. Hey, I think I'm I think I'm sold on it. I think I'm sold. I think I need this. All right. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm I'm it's sold. I I got it. All right. Well, let's go. Well, let's keep this on the radar for right now, and let's go take a look at that uh 4020 that you apparently like to. Yeah. Ra no radar, dude. Radar. We got yeah. the target right here, man. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm buying right. it. Like, I'm serious, man. I, let, let, I, got, right, it. Well, I me, got it. I got it. I got the money right now. <laughs> all right. Well, let me just write this down on my sticky notes so we can get everything else that you want to get. Okay. Sounds good. Sold. Let me just throw that on there over there. Oh, yeah, dude. If anybody walks up, just get their naughty hands off of it, you know? Yep. And, oh, I never got your name in a... Oh, oh please forgive me. I forgot to introduce myself. Um, my name is Buck. I usually... A lot of the guys around this town, they usually like to call me Boom. Okay. So, I kind of... So, yeah, my name is Buck. Uh, and I've never got your name. What was your name? Yeah, Grant. Grant. Uh, Grant, how you doing? All right. 
So let's uh, see here. This is our 4020 model. It is quite a bit of work to it. It's got new it's got new hydraulics on the uh, on the loader here. It's also got if you come back mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. um, he did do some rearranging on the drawbar. Okay. So it does have you some. Guys, new and you guys are asking. 13 for this 32 i believe because of the fact that we did 32 put some, he, he said that when he all by the time he got enough parts into it it was worth more than what it could have originally sold for so that makes sense with newer i know parts, i know, I know. this was a yeah. tractor we ha i had a tractor kind of like this in new york that I grew up on so it's you know it's um i'd have to look it up on the computer we have we have a lot of this stuff listed for its power and all that i honestly don't remember some of this stuff but this is a beast of a thing i used to run one of these on our mm -hmm. we used to run one of these on our farm we're a third generation farm and i think it was my grandpa used to have one of these things and it 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 definitely did the duty it, it yeah you care if i fire her up definitely he's in her oh he starts right up we're an old oh, tractor yes. okay so loader joystick is it's a little it's still a little sloppy obviously yeah, yeah. for its age this does not have auto level on it, but that's to be expected from a tractor from the 1970s. How high does it? It goes fairly high. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And then tip. Okay, I see. So I'm trying to think how this would go down, guys. If we bought this, I could have this 4020. I have the 8130. That's mine. I'm taking that. And then, ah, oh, man. And then I've kind of won that 8970. But there's... I think I'll get a couple more tractors after that. I gotta kind of figure it out. This turns tight too with this two-wheel drive. Ooh, turn on dime with this. I think so. I think we're gonna take it, guys. There's like how I think about it is there's a time where you can make decisions and and take a while to do your choosing, and now is not that time. We need to get farming and we need to get going. So I'm I'm I might not be getting the best buys and the best deals, but I, I just need equipment right now. All right, how's she run there for you? Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. So we got to uh, add this one over to the check yeah, mark list. Buck, Buck, toss her on there, man. Toss her on there. All She's right. sold. Um, the, I, I want this Kubota. I don't think I'm going to get it right now, but I do want to test drive that before I leave because okay. I've heard good things about Kubotas. I don't know what you oh, guys yes. have, but. um, Well, we actually do also have a two-wheel drive model in the showroom floor. Okay. But it does not have a, but it does not have a cab. That's let's, the only thing. Right, let's go, okay, quick. I want to take a look at that thing. I believe in oh, the back, thank as you, well sir. as a. Oh, you're fine. But you're welcome. Uh, another time. Oh, a little stuck oh, on that door. But you. we do have a John Deere XUV 865M, as well as a Kubota X1100. Uh, and the. I've heard. Like, I've seen these on YouTube, and the. I these are fairly new. I think. I know I'm a deer guy, but I'd love to go with that Kubota for going YouTube. Oh, Anyways, these things, these things run do very, do run very well, and this is the two wheel drive Kubota. We probably should be putting the cab version in here, but because this doesn't have, this is open cab. We had a canopy version a, a couple of days ago, but it sold. So we just kind of put this one in here because it's a nice little rig. I have this 89.7 here, which I'd. Yes, um, definitely. We can probably, we can get you hooked up with that. If you want to take that for a test drive, I can get some more markers. Okay. So and numbers and blah, blah, blah. Buck. Okay. Yep. Hear me out. $128,000, I feel yes. like it's ridiculous. It's a lot of horsepower, but this is an old tractor. You guys see these running through the shop, man. Oh, yeah. If, um, would, you, would, you get, would you guys be able to do 40 for it? I feel like I'm overpaying 40 grand. It's a kind of a classic, but... Um, I mean, 128th, I, I think like somebody, like your intern, put a wrong number on it almost. I would assume so, but uh, I wouldn't say 40. Can we bump it up to say... Uh, 55 because we did well we also do have if okay how about this we'll make you a deal yeah, yeah. I'm we'll listening. put it at we'll put it at 60 grand now i know that that's a fairly steep price tag but we did have to service this thing the other day so we did have to take off the fat duels which you saw in the picture at the on the actual site so this yeah. does come with a big big fat set of uh duels the big 900 mm -hmm. uh big 900 duels so if we threw those in there would you consider putting it 60 i mean i know it's a fairly steep option but i don't know who the heck put 128 thousand on that dealer lot. okay buck that, i'll tell you what me. i'll tell you what I, I like the tire offer that's 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 smart uh okay 60 fat duels and there i know there's you can get triples on these find me yeah. an extra set so i can get triples on this with these regular i think they're 480 tire tires on there so that i can mm -hmm. get triples and then give me the give me the big boys too the fatties 
All right. Um, we can definitely see if we have any of them because we have some tires back in our other sheds behind us. Oh, so this is the beast, man. This is the beast. I think 60 is not bad for this tractor. 128, I was just like, like I'm buying equipment rush in a rush, rush bind. It's not a good bind type, especially like emotional right now because this is some really nice equipment and stuff. But man, 128 was not worth it. Okay, I am backing this 8970 up just because if it's, if he has those tires, I'm buying this. I am buying this. So how do, what do you think of it? Oh, uh, Buck, you scared me, man. You scared me. I didn't know you were back there. I was yeah, taking a look at her. Yeah, well, I got some news for you. What's Which that? Which one would you like to hear? The good news or the good news? Nah, the good news. Good news. Good news. The I don't good know news what is, is we found four extra tires. Oh, okay. They are, so we can get you the triple options on this. Okay. So are we good on that 60 grand? We're good. We're good, Buck. All right. Yeah, I, I'm going to, okay, 8130 and 8970, I'd like hauled. 4020, I'm just going to take right now when I go home today. Uh, All right. And then um, you guys you guys can load the 8970 and 8130. And when could you get those to me then? Uh, we could probably get you those um, either later today, maybe by around, I'd say, 7 o'clock. Or if not, then we'll get it to you as early as tomorrow morning by 9. Have you met a guy named Jake yet? Jake. Jake's the first guy I met. Jake's the first guy I met. In, oh, really? Uh, yeah. I met him outside of Casey's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he said good. He, trust me. He said good things about the dealership and stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, good. Well, yeah, he's a nice glad guy. I made an impact on him. All right. Cool. Um. So. Let's get you, let's get work I, done. Let's get paperwork done, yeah, brother. All right. Oh, you know, if I if I have to buy a lawnmower, I might. You guys have lawnmowers here then, or soon? I see up on your TV um, over there. We, as of right now, we do not have any things of uh, lawnmowers in stock. We will be getting some more Kubota Land Prides though, mm. as of right now, because we can. Big yeah, I think something jets. I would want is like that zero turn that's back there. It's by that compact tractor. Like that zero turn. Oh yeah, ten ish or so. so. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I got the forty twenty. You can, you guys, uh, trust me, I got it myself. You guys can. Uh, All right. Go to load up the eighty nine seventy to eighty one thirty, man. I got gotcha. you. Right. I got gotcha in salesman. I just want to talk forever. Oh my gosh! But he got me sold. He got me sold, man. He got me sold. So, uh, forty twenty. We're gonna get loaded up, and I'm gonna head back to the farm. Sounds like they'll be able to get those ramps are going down. Sounds like they'll be able to get those soon. Um, the eighty nine seventy and the eighty one thirty, which is nice. Forty twenty. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm gonna. Put it uh, forward. There we go. Put her in reverse. I gotta get used to this transmission though. It's been a while since I've driven something like this. And we'll load her right up on the ramps. Yeah, honestly guys, I was gonna buy implements today, but I saw, I just like, after making these decisions on these tractors and spending $140,000, I was like, I gotta think, man. I gotta think before we start spending any more money on implements. I gotta think this through a lot more. It's just not. I mean, this is this is real life. This isn't ain't no farming similar, you know. Okay, we're heading back now. The question is, how does this Cummins tow? This is what I got her for. We'll see how she pulls. So far, it seems to pull pretty good. And I got a plow mount, so like once winter comes, I can plow with the 4020. But it might be nicer plowing with the Cummins. That'll be kind of fun. I got to pick up a plow though. It does have a plow mount though. It has a snow plow prep package also. Oh yeah, there's a little weight behind her. Slowly going down there. We were scraping with the trailer. So far at 40 mile an hour, I've only been doing 40. It's been handling great. Cummins has been able, handling fantastic. Oh, that must be, uh, oh, that's Jake. There's Jake. He's actually going to, uh, I wonder if he knows he's, he's actually on mine. There he is. Yeah. Um, Oh, nice. Yeah, he probably doesn't even know he's hauling my equipment. But, uh, anyways, we're going to take a left. We're going, actually, we can't be, make it out in time. I'm going to wait for that car to go by. There we go. Now we can go. So it's 55 mile an hour. I'm going to push the truck up to 55. We're going to stay here and see how it handles it. Home sweet home. We're almost here. Man, I every time I drive past that farm, I'm like, man, I wish I could have bought that farm. But, you know what? I think I could probably build... What's a, I think I could probably build a farm just like that or even better than that farm. I, I honestly think I can. I just, I'm just in love with that farm though. That farm over there. So we're going to see what, what, what we can do. I think we can. The only thing is the plant, the place I 
plan to build on isn't that level. You can see it's slowly slanted uphill. So I, I gotta kind of figure that out where I'm gonna place my buildings because I need a level spot for all my buildings. I need to make sure everything's level through here. It's not too bad, but it, we'll see how it is. As you can see, when we built the house, we put it fairly up high. I'm gonna go in and have some dinner, guys. But seriously, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was a completely different style. And I gotta give a huge shout out to, I guess I don't know how they want me, sh shout out to Chandler and, uh, and Pickle for helping out. I'll link up all their stuff down below. Uh, Pickle is recording this on his end as he's talking to me. You can see his view and what's happening on his farm. So if you want, feel free to go check out his channel on the link down below. And Chandler does a lot of modding, so I'll have links to some of his mods and his, his Facebook page down below too. Uh, but seriously, these are the guys that came up with the idea. They pitched it to me, and I was like, I like it. So, as always, you guys, there's if there's 40,000 people watching this, there's so many different ideas flowing around. Tell us what we can improve upon. Uh, I know there's a lot of talking. That's the one thing I want to cut down on. And I, want, I need more action, as Pickle said. Um... I, I, I think he's right. I think he's right. There's a lot of talk in there, but it's different. It's, it's a lot more realistic. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys.